Microsoft's fall product showcase just wrapped up in New York City, and the company has just surprised us with some great updates to certain beloved products, and then another that was completely unexpected. Reporting from New York City, I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, along with Adam Lane, and let's go hands on. Let's begin today with one of my favorite products, the Microsoft Surface Pro. The company has decided to go back to using numbers to designate its version, and as of now, this is the Surface Pro 6. Visually, it's pretty much the same computer if you compare it to last year's model, though now we have the addition of a new finish. The Surface Pro 6 is still built of a magnesium alloy, but now we have a new matte black finish that actually looks really nice, and it doesn't pick up fingerprints that easily. The updates are mainly internal, with mentions of changes to the thermal system for faster performance. We have Intel's new 8th generation Core i5 and i7 processors, and now quad-core, which is a first for a product of its kind. RAM options now range from 8 to 16 gigabytes, and storage options that go from 128 gigs to up to 1 terabyte. Cameras seem to be the same at 8 and 5 megapixels in the combo, and even if Microsoft doesn't really provide battery specifications, we hear an insane 13.5 hours of use. The optional touch cover now has a black color option, and if you want to know what's missing, well, USB-C. Like, I seriously don't understand this. I mean, we have the Surface Go with USB-C, but not in the Surface Pro. This still remains at USB-A and Microsoft's proprietary Surface port. And speaking of the lack of USB-C, the new Surface laptop just got an upgrade, but it doesn't include USB-C either. We also have the new matte black finish in the aluminum with the same Alcantara fabric on the palm rest, now in black. The spec sheet is also pretty much the same as in the Surface Pro, now extending capabilities for the quad-core processor, making it up to 85% faster than its predecessor, and with an insane battery rating of up to 14.5 hours. Now, what nobody was expecting was the new Microsoft Surface headphones. Like, yeah, not sure why they included the name Surface, but it's here. These are actually very good looking cans that provide 13 levels of active noise cancellation, and you can actually modulate the intensity through a dial that's built into the left ear cup, with the other serving for volume controls, and with touch controls for play, pause, etc. We have 40 millimeter free edge drivers for microphones for noise canceling and beam forming mics for phone calls, which are also quite useful for Cortana, as it now finally, finally works through Bluetooth. And then we saw other updates to products like the Surface Studio, which oddly does have USB-C now, but kind of disappoints as it still sports last year's processors. We heard talks about an update to Windows 10 that now allows for better communication with products like the Microsoft Launcher for Android, which is overall very cool. Pre-orders for the new Surface models begin today with pricing starting at $899 for the Pro and $999 for the laptop, though the new black color option is not available in the base models. And as for the new headphones, these will come later this year at an estimated price of around $350. Let us know what you think about the new products from Microsoft in the comments down below. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.